Bitlisman equips students, professors and scientists for next generation industrial revolution. We prepare them for Industry 4. My name is Givorg and today I will demonstrate the Smart Grid platform based on PowerLab's ecosystem. The aim of this platform is to study the basics of microgrid systems with multiple generation sources, transmission lines, distribution substations and consumers. It introduces the main principles of renewable power generation, demand management, energy multi-tariffing, centralized monitoring and control of all subsystems. The platform consists of the centralized SCADA software and the PowerLabs ecosystem trainers. Based on configuration, there can be different types and quantity of the trainers. Respectfully, there can be different single line diagrams for the subsystem interconnections. Now let's pass the demonstration of some functions of the platform. First, let's have a look at the current setup. It consists of a solar power station, consumers, traditional power station, wind power station, hydro power station, power transmission, distribution substations, and the smart grid software. In the current setup, the trainers are interconnected to each other based on the single line diagram where the traditional power station is connected to the power transmission lines and through the high voltage substation it is connected to the distribution substation too. The hydro power station is also connected to the power transmission lines to the high voltage substation. The isolated wind power station is connected to the distribution substation too as a secondary power source. The power through distribution substation 1 applies to the consumer 1 which is a critical load and has the PV power station as a backup source. Now let's implement the appropriate connections and run the system. As you can see the SCADA has a live single line diagram where it's possible to monitor the entire microgrid. At the top the software has six menu buttons. The first button navigates the system to the home window. The second button opens the user manager where it's possible to manage all the users. The third button opens the new window on the next available monitor. The fourth button opens the historical data window where it's possible to select the subsystem, the data range and you will get the alarms and events uh, for that subsystems for that specific data range. The next button opens the real-time alarms and event windows when the user can see all the events and alarms happening in real time and it's also possible to acknowledge all the alarms. And the last button opens the settings page where the user can configure all the settings for all the subsystems. Here we have the data deadbanding, analog alarms, digital alarms, and the protection. As well, for the consumers, the user can specify the tariffs. Here we have two types, single tariffing and time of use. Now let's run all the subsystems.
Now all the subsystems are up and running. Hope you enjoyed the video. For more information, visit our website at bitlessman.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check our other products. Thanks for watching.